Ron Athey is an artist, a performer, a creative thinker, a generous friend and collaborator, and someone whose model of living creatively makes the world a better place. Performance art was always the corner of art without as many rules. I personally practice a, a version of it that's related to both theater, sound, mixed media. I love the optimism here. That makes up some of the magic of creating in LA. The subject that I approach and work is always starts as a query. It's a question, like what is the insight of taking this contemporary situation and, and positioning it against something from classical images, from religious images? So it's playful and it's not didactic. It's, it's kind of free form with the ideas. He just has a lived experience that becomes the work. And the work is an extension of kind of his deepest interest in Pentecostal fundamentalist ritual, which he was raised with, combined, you know, in, in this kind of dynamic and sometimes bizarre way with uh, queer club culture, punk music, and then more and more uh, high art forms. It's the energy, which is both exuberant, sometimes snarky, um, extremely generous. He's mentored more young emerging artists over the years than anyone I know. How do I feel about being inspiring? Work your ass off and don't wait for anyone. I don't wait for curators, I don't wait for grants, I don't wait for anything. Learn how to put on a benefit, learn how to write grants. I do believe in a lot of process and maybe encourage people not to look at the medium itself. I'm more inspired by a Pasolini movie <laughs> than I am about somebody's 90s performance art that's in a book. Using the term queer, everyone in West Hollywood looked like the Marlboro Man. Like in the late 70s and I was like a like punk freak, femme, you know, like BDSM looking creature that didn't really fit in a group of people. But I knew that I didn't fit in that group. I feel like that was my first understanding of what queer was and it, those kind of early West Hollywood prides, like especially with um, kind of punky people from Long Beach, we'd all meet under these one bleachers and then storm around looking ugly while everyone else looked orange. Um, so I think it, it, it rubbed against um, people who wanted to be conventional. I think LA's art business, art scene, um, the way it supports art has been um, evolving and maturing. There's definitely more, more options as an artist and as an audience. So I, I, I'm, uh, I'm always all for more. <laughs>